And now I, th I can see that we have hope for being able to do what we were originally trying to do in Almata, that we can begin to bring all of this together in a systematic way so that it becomes an emotional response in addition to being a purely scientific response, recognizing the way that people think and people believe, particularly in families, we've got to begin to really take what they're going to be able to live with. And we haven't been doing that because we keep say, thinking that we as professionals are giving people health. And we're not. We give them acute care. We give them technical care. But what is really behind all of the thinking that we are trying to do these days, which I could talk about for a long time, which is that what's behind it all is that it's eventually the people who themselves who have to take their own health care, take ownership of their own health care. And so that's where we are, as far as I'm concerned, at the present time, going back essentially to the kind of thinking we were trying to do at al -Mata. We have a, a particular opportunity now to go back to what I've been talking about all these years, which is the community-based approach, because we have gotten away from a lot of the community-based thinking. And I think we have an opportunity now to get real about what's going to really make a difference with all of the successes that we have with our technology. How do we actually make that work in real life for people and their families around the world? And so I think that the challenge is just wonderful. I, I told the students that I think they're lucky to be coming into it at this stage, that they can really make a difference for their lives.